No, the title of this video has not deceived you. I bought a rare Jackson guitar. Okay, there was one lie in that sentence, and it was the word bought. I did not buy this guitar, I traded it in. At some point in my life, I bought a guitar, and it was my black 1983 or so Japanese Stratocaster. Now, I don't want to reveal too much about what I did with that Strat just yet, because basically, I traded it in for another guitar, and I've been gradually trading up guitars from there until I've arrived at this Jackson. That's going to be a separate video at some point in the future. It's very open-ended, so I don't know when this project will be done, but it's going to be at least like fucking 45 minutes long, I assume. But for now, I've arrived at something that I really enjoy, and it is this 2012 Jackson Mealy Petroza signature Phobia King B. This thing is so incredibly sick that I'm actually unsure if I want to keep trading up guitars. I could just end it here and keep this. Now, let me give you some brief history on this guitar. They were made around 2011 and 12 in Indonesia. Yes, this is an Indonesian-made guitar. All of these are. A lot of people think they are USA-made, but they're not. This is a Floyd Rose Special, but honestly, I couldn't care less because this is very cool, and as long as the guitar is good and cool, I don't care where it's made. They were made as a signature model for Mili Petroza, frontman and guitar player of Creator, and I really like them. I don't know anything about the specs of this besides what's obvious, which is a Floyd Rose Special and an EMG 81. It also has like a bit of a kill switch situation, which is very cool. It only has one volume knob. Obviously the fretboard with the shark fin inlays is rosewood. I don't know what wood the body is made of, what the neck is made of. Uh, it's a neck through or set neck design, which I kind of enjoy, I guess. <laughs> I'm not the biggest fan of neck through. I know this is not a popular opinion at all, but I kind of like the big block on a strat that blocks my hand off and tells me where the neck ends. And obviously, immediately, if you've been following the channel for a while, you'll have noticed two things that should be a deal breaker for me inside a guitar. A Floyd Rose Special and an EMG. <laughs> And yes, while I have in the past been very open about my absolute disdain for EMG pickups, the EMG81 in particular, it's still a plus even though I don't like this particular pickup. It's equipped with a pot with the appropriate impedance for an active pickup, and it has a battery compartment in the back, so if I were to put a Fishman in it, I wouldn't have to route anything out. I could put a Fishman pickup in it, I could put an active Seymour Duncan in it, I could put whatever in it, I could even change it to a passive pickup and just bypass the battery thing, but I don't think I will because it's cool that this already has the battery compartment. That being said, Said, I don't know if I'm gonna do any of that at all because I might keep this just in original condition in case I get another trade offer. Now, at long last, let's move forward to the title of this video Why is this guitar rare? Well, around 2012 when these were made, only 250 of them were made. And given that Creator is a German band, those 250 Indonesian made black King Vs were EU only. So this is an appropriately difficult guitar to find on the used market, and therefore was an absolute gem for me to just get as a trade offer for the guitar I had beforehand. Especially in the condition that this thing is in. There's this one tiny spot that's had some of the satin finish rubbed off, but there's no raw wood showing or anything, it's just like slightly polished. I mean even the stickers, the protective foil thingies, are still on the back of the tuners. The frets are still perfectly round, none of them are damaged, as if this thing had never been played. So technically, since this is a guitar with an EMG, a sound demo is kind of moot, since it is going to sound like a guitar with an EMG, but I'll give you one nevertheless.
Now, this video mainly serves to showcase this cool guitar to you because that's what I do. I'm a gear channel at heart. I love showcasing cool things to you and this is one of the coolest things that I've ever had in this studio. But also, it serves as kind of a call to action. If you think you have something of equal or greater value that you would like to trade for this thing, just send me an email at contact at sixstring.tv. It's linked in the description. It's right on here. I just said it. Send me a DM on Instagram tweet at me, I don't care. Just try to get in touch with me, I will respond. Let's trade. That being said, one of the major drawbacks of this thing is not just that it's a flying V, but also that it has a reverse headstock, something that's really badass, but also makes it take up even more space physically. Meaning this case is an absolute behemoth that does not fit on screen. I mean, like actually look at this. Holy shit, this is big. Uh, so I couldn't like ship this around the world unless you were willing to pay like 300 bucks for shipping or something. But if you're within the EU or even better just within Germany, then definitely shoot me a message. Also, if you are one of few people who know these guitars very well, you might have thought, hmm, didn't those come with creator branded Jackson gig bags back in the day? Uh, well, yes, they did. I have mine right here. I did want it because it's part of the original set. There's the creator patch that's sewn on right there. But it is absolutely tattered and torn. It is in the worst condition I've ever seen a gig bag in. I just wanted it because it's part of the set. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy my videos, then consider subscribing to my Patreon. My Patreon members who are currently subscribed are right here. The benefits are right here. Link in the description, $5 a month. That's all I'm gonna be throwing at you for the end of this video. Latest video is right here. Subscribe down there. Leave a like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment, whatever, goodbye. <laughs>